Hello everyone, welcome to a new gameplay review. My name is Josep, and today we're going to take the last version of Nuclear Online 0.1. In this new version, we are going to see many things like for example the updated UI, also new visual and sound effects, new areas to explore, and probably the most important new thing, it's Chicken Riders, the minigame. The team has been working hard on this in the last month, and we have been playing. But if you want to learn deeply about Chicken Riders, I have uploaded another gameplay review exclusively for this minigame. There you will learn how the game works and also some little secrets. So if you want to check it later after this gameplay review, it will be great. But right now, let's review the full version of 0.1 of Midgard Online. Let's go! I have to say that the performance is so, so smooth. I mean, everything is working so fine, guys. So fine. The resolution is still not uh, adapted for ultra wide screens like mine. Okay, there are many interesting uh, resolutions here you can see, but at this moment, oh wait, 100 hertz. Yeah, let's use this. Much better. Okay, so you you can see many resolutions, but still not the one that could fit the, my screen. Okay, should be if I'm not wrong, uh, 3,000 something, whatever. And 1000 for the 40, 440. So that's the one that I'm using right now. And but it's still not there. So it's fine. Now we are going to connect the wallet. Okay, it's so simple like this. And I will show you now the browser. Okay, because I need to switch from the game to the browser so you can see the process. Now, for example, I press the star, the, the connect button. Now you can see the website. You can see Please connect and sing the message. So right now, because I already connected my wallet to the website, I just need to sing in the the transaction. Okay, well not the transaction because there is no transaction here. It's just singing. Okay, that's so easy. So let's do this. Let's sing. And now you can see there my wallet was connected to, uh, to the website. And probably I'm not sure here what is happening if they internally they they are sending a message to the standalone application and this is activated or what but if now for example i check the game okay this is you can see here for example paste signet message here okay so right now coming back to the browser if i just press the copy button here boom copy it and i don't need to i don't need to do anything else so if we go back to the standalone application, boom, that's all. Just by pressing the copy button, probably it's because it's paste, I'm sorry, it's copy in the clipboard here in the system. And maybe they are listening to the clipboard here in Windows. I have no idea how it works, honestly, but it just trying to, to figure out what, what is happening. So you copy this in the clipboard, they read from there and they can then paste it, paste it in, the, in, the, in that dialog. That was uh, waiting for uh, the sign signature or whatever. So, again, I'm not sure about this. I never asked the team how it works. So, that's what I guess it should be. Anyway, as you can see, the start button just appeared here and we can already start playing. You can see, first of all, guys, first new thing, you can see a new tab here that says mount. Uh, because I don't, I don't have any chicken NFT you cannot see here my mounts. I don't know if they are going to implement more mounts. I hope so, because I mean, here they have a huge thing to implement. I mean, it could be something beneficial for them as a team, but also trying to make connections with other projects and partnerships and so on. But this can be a very powerful thing, not only using the mount in the racing game, but also using it maybe uh, outside in the open maps because maybe in the city you cannot use your mount, but, or yes, you could do it, I don't know. But, for example, you could use your mount also once you go outside from the city, from the town, you pass through the, the gates, you can start using your mount and you can travel faster. So I have no idea if they are going to implement this, but in my sweet dreams, I'm, <laughs> I'm thinking about this. I really want it. But anyway, this is something cool and I hope that I could show you, but I'm sorry guys, I never bought and, and participated in the chicken ecosystem, so I have nothing to, to show you here. 
sadly. But I can show you here, for example, if I select a Midgardium, boom, something new, and at least I don't remember from the last version in, in the web browser, you can see the title here of Legendary, okay? Uh, it says variety of your NFT. And it's something really cool, but the problem is that it's still not working because if I was checking before this morning when I had only five minutes, and if I select all of them, all of them, they are legendary, okay? And if I go to the second page, all of them, they are legendary. And yeah, I have many legendaries, but not so many. And I, I'm pretty sure that I don't have five pages or legendary. So probably this is something that they started implementing, but it's still not working as expected. So but this is something really cool to see a little more information about your Midgardian there. And as you can see, there is the, the title of Midgardian, the serial number or the ID number. OK, and also you can see that there is a blank space below. So I I'm not sure, but I can imagine that there they are going to implement maybe the stats of your Midgardian or I don't know if the Midgardian is in a quest because you can well we should be able to send our Midgardians that are no I mean the ones that we are not playing with they can be sent to a to a quest or a mission to to something to get the rewards or or mining resources or whatever I don't know but something like this and maybe if they are well, they are still working on a on a quest or a mission. Maybe you can see here the stats of the mission, how it goes, how the remaining time, also the possible reward, the chances, whatever. Or I don't know. Maybe you can see also the stats of this Midgardian specifically, because there are many stats for each uh, Midgardian that you have. I mean, they have skills. They have uh, also many many. Uh, also, they have an equipment by default. Uh, as far as I remember, the team, they were talking, at least Odin, he was the one talking about this, I guess. For example, you can see this Midgardian, uh, well, is, is a woman, is a woman, yeah. I think it's a woman because she has some breasts, so, yeah, or something similar to breasts, so, yeah, I think she's a woman. So, uh, she's, we uh, well, wearing a necklace, okay, for example, this is part of the an equipment. Okay, also these armor uh, with these red uh, shoulders, they are part of uh, an armor and equipment. So everything maybe should be displayed here in the future. I don't know. So we will see, guys. But by now, let's select one mid garden. This one, for example, I mean, we were talking about her and let's play with her. Yeah. So let's just start playing. This animation is so cool with this uh, beer jar. So cool. And guys, I mean, some, well, there are a little, yeah, many new things. Obviously, from the first very version that I was sharing with you guys, there are a lot of new things. But if you were playing in the last versions, probably you already saw the barman here uh, just working and waiting for you to talk with. Oh, you can see, wow, wait, 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 wait. This effect is maybe new. Yeah, if you if you place the cursor, you can see the cursor in there. Oh yeah, you can see this in the screen as well. So you can see a little sword. This is the cursor or the pointer. I don't know in English if, if it's both or not, but anyway, the, the cursor, let's say. Um if I place the, the little sword on the cursor in in the taberman, you can see an effect there. And I don't know, but I would say this is new. Because I don't remember this and it's so cool. So let's talk with him, first of all. Well, first, first. Um, in the top left corner, you can see some kind of energy points or a score or experience. I don't know what is this. Let's place the sword. Available beat ball in your wallet. Wow. So this is some kind of first implementation of Bolt inside the game. Beatball will be Bolt turned into a digital version in the game to facilitate in-game transactions. It will help minimize gas fees. So probably, as I said, uh, my theory about depositing the Bolt tokens there, so you can freely transact, uh, I mean, key, uh, buy things, or maybe, I don't know, just imagine, maybe uh, crafting and repairing things there in the Blacksmith, maybe you will need to pay some beat ball maybe or maybe the meat token and 
now we have beat ball but maybe in the future there will be also beat meat <laughs> who knows but that was very interesting to to understand better what why that country is there so uh, it's very interesting also for example these three buttons they are not available because i was checking this this morning open quest panel not available yet so yeah there is a quest system and you will see guys because uh i want to show you this it's not new but at least i will i want to show you how the quiz the quest system works because as far as i remember we should be able to talk with someone and start a little quest okay so let's check this as well uh what else open inventory okay we have an inventory i don't know if it's associated with the mid guardian or it's an inventory with your game account so no matter which mid guardian you're using you will see always the same inventory or as i said maybe it's a specific inventory for each different mid guardian i have no idea about this but we will figure out when they implement it and it's available so yeah so cool and the last thing it's open skill panel so this is a very cool thing guys that i'm so excited when once they they implement it because this is something i mean we i don't know if this is for the different uh professions different things that we can work with i mean you can maybe work as a, a with leader you can also mine you can maybe be a smith or whatever and i don't know I don't know but i'm just trying to speculate a little because i like to speculate about, th about this kind of things it's the fun part of this of of following a game from the beginning and during its development that's the fun part and yeah this is skills panel uh, it's something that i was telling you guys that maybe that part when we were selecting the mid guardian and there was a, a blank space there maybe these skills could be displayed there also so you can see the the level of progression that you have with this mid garden and maybe if you need to i don't know create some weapons armors or you need to to create a potion or whatever you're going to select a different mid garden depending on the skills that they have so that's interesting but still not available so guys we will need to wait a little more so this option it's just for the settings so let me see sometimes when you're clicking it fails so i was okay now it's at the first try but okay it looks like the first time that because this part happened to me before the first time doesn't work but the second and so on it always opens the settings there is no much mystery here you can see the settings same window than before and also exit to desktop it's just to exit the game okay that's so easy also at the bottom left you have the chat you can select the icon and press and okay no pressing enter happens nothing so you need to select the the chat button yeah and what else the minimap it was a little weird this morning when i i saw this because i'm always very used uh in, for example world of warcraft and other games like big time also most of games they have the minimap at the top right corner so for example now uh, i would say that in, for me at least will be better to place the minimap at the top right and then the settings and the other icons just below maybe just as a column yeah but just below but i don't know it's because the minimap being at the bottom right i'm not always checking it but if it's at the top right i don't know maybe it's just me and how i'm used to play games like this but just my opinion guys but yeah i don't know if you can no you cannot click the map but I have to say that it's so beautiful. You can see, n not so detailed, but it's so beautiful to see how the, the tavern looks like from the top view. And you can see all the trees around. You can see the bridge there, the, the river and so on. And the frame of the minimap, it's so beautiful and pixel art. You know how much I love pixel art. So, I mean, this one, it's so cool, so cool. So guys, let's start talking with the towerman and let's see because if it's like in the past, there will be a quest to talk with someone else. So let's start. This is also something new because uh, before in the, in, the, in the previous versions, if I'm not wrong, you click, you needed to click the, the NPC and then you started to talk with him or her. But now you have this menu with different options. I mean, this is so cool. I mean, I can select X to close and do nothing. But boom, you can see there 
and we can talk with the Tower Marn. So let's see. Also, I'm not sure. I would say that this dialogue system, I don't know if it's exactly like the previous versions or it, it's completely new. It's very similar, but not exactly the same, I guess. You can see so many NPCs here as walking and just talking. Let's talk, for example, with this one. You have the talk option there. And it's a great day, don't you think? Okay, that's fine. Let's see. I'm thinking about joining, joining the army. You should join too. Okay. And what about this one? Talk. You can see that the NPC don't stop. He keeps walking, but they probably will fix this. Blessings for the warriors. Here, you can see here the famous Chankla. I mean, for some time there was a, a tournament, let's say, or a competition where everyone needed to find this Chankla in the map. Obviously, it wasn't so easy like now. I mean, you needed to find the Chankla everywhere in the in the town because it was there was only the town. The gates were closed, so the Chankla was hidden somewhere in the town and no one no one found this <laughs> it's yeah seriously it's so crazy but no one found it the blacksmith so craft or repair oh no oh you can see other options guys craft or repair trade probably to sell your the stuff that you don't want anymore craft or repair looks like you will be able to ask Beagle to to craft things and also repair so it means that there will be a durability for the for the equipment and weapons as well and shields and so on. So that's interesting because I don't know if the team ever talked about this before. But yeah, you will be able to repair things. Interesting. So you will need to be uh, you will need to take care, like for example in Diablo, because you need to repair things there. You probably you remember, and here as well. So nice. Einar told me that the combat arena needs repairs. Oh, guys, the arena, I don't know when this will be available, but the arena could be open sooner or later. Who knows? I mean, can you imagine that we can start using our guardians in a fight in the arena again, again other, against other players and so on? Uh, that would be so cool. I don't understand. Uh, what are you talking? Uh, an enemy? Oh, got new information from background. Quest update. Oh, that pop up? I don't know. Mm, but I guess it's new. I mean, the last time that I was playing the last version, uh, it was some weeks ago, so I forgot about many things. But that pop up, that was a very cool thing about to get an update. Maybe they will change it in the future. But hey, they are making very good progress with this. I mean, with the, all the dialogue at the bottom, the pop up appearing in the middle of the screen. Maybe a notification. Well, there was a notification and a little sound there, but could be something better. Like maybe some some kind of bell or some how to say some. Uh, I don't know how to say in English, but something something like that. More to celebrate that you got new information, a new thing to do, or whatever, or an update. And here you can find the the crops. I was sharing about this and also uh, adding a timestamp in the YouTube video, guys. But yeah, this is so fine. It's funny uh, to find him. I find these these crabs here in the in the beach. That's so cool. I mean, the first time I didn't expect them. It was a huge surprise. Oh, train mining trade. Okay, so again, maybe we can get resources from Quest or whatever, and we can trade trade with him. And also train mining. So that's interesting because this option it's something new. And train mining. So obviously we can train our skills here. That's interesting. I mean there are more uh, area to explore. So let's play first chicken race because I, I can wait to play this. And later when we finish I will play the six or seven times that we will be able to play with. And later we will visit the, the rest. So you can see there, it's so easy like this, going to the chicken farm and start playing. So you can see this guy with a long bird here. And, oh, the chickens there. You can see they look exactly how Odin was sharing in the in the Discord some time ago. He looks so beautiful. 
obviously, I mean, if you ever played uh, Final Fantasy, maybe <laughs> they look familiar to you, but they are chicken. They are not. Uh, they are not chocobos. They are chickens. So yes, guys. Um, let's go and talk with him and start playing the chicken race. So play chicken riders. So you can see there, guys. I just played one time this morning, and I'm number three with. 2182 so STN44 it's number one and clever lie number two Asgard game five I I believe that this one maybe it's someone from the team most probably yes this name is probably reserved for for them and Gurumi cool face it's number six and Mao and Juby Jan number eight so you can see my daily stamina. Probably uh, you need there is a 24 hours counter internally for your account because I mean or yeah because it didn't reset yet. It's let me see the time right now here in Spain. It's it's almost 2 a.m. So yeah, probably I don't know maybe when this is going to re reset at, during the morning when I started playing for the first time. I don't know, but anyway that you can see the little board there. You can see also uh, the highest score in this level. Achieve. Oh, there are more levels then. Ah, the level select track. I don't know if level and track is the same concept or it's different. Achieve with chicken. As I told you guys, I don't have any chicken NFT, so I'm playing with the default one, Ghost. Currently selected chicken cost free mount. Yeah. So, your daily stamina, you have to play six or seven times per day. And every 24 hours is being reset. That's nice. And you can select the track. Right now, the only one that you can select is more sums meadows. That's fine. And that's all, guys. So I would like to suggest to the team, guys, that they try to... Maybe it's still not the time to do this, but at some point they could try to run some competitions, tournaments, so people can try to stall, uh, play the game uh, participate in these races and try to 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 rank up here in the leaderboard and i don't know this could try by doing this trying to to run these competitions these tournaments it could be a very viral thing i mean could be very trending i don't know i mean probably people many people will try to 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 play just for the rewards but some people maybe could be also interested in the game after trying to play one time at least so anyway guys let's just start playing mm -hmm. this will consume your daily stamina okay so let's just start it's left right and up to jump and down to just crouch or i don't know how to say but anyway let's see guys jump you can see everything moves so smoothly oh let's go look at this there are different items to collect uh i don't know what they are doing honestly i know that you get some life with this oh 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 wow <laughs> so crazy okay ah ah oh shit okay okay it's so crazy guys oh i i miss this anyway I say this in the Discord and I'm saying this at the beginning, but it's so addicting, these guys. It's so addicting. Okay, the green bar there is the time, so I need to collect items. Okay, I need to collect the... I don't know how to say this, but that item... Wow! Oh! Shit. Okay. Okay, okay. We need to collect items. Oh, maybe it will be more interesting to collect the... I don't know how to say this, but anyway, we need to collect this. Oh, to get time. Oh, oh, oh. No, I cannot jump. Shit. Oh, okay. You have some shields there. Okay. Uh, okay. I can. I can do it better, guys. I can do it better. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa, whoa. Ah, let me take this. Okay. Ah, shit. This is so addicting. Okay. It's impossible. Oh. Wow. Shit, I'm going to lose. I'm going to lose. I'm going to lose. I need some. Oh, game over. Okay, I didn't. I didn't beat my my score. Oof. I mean, it's a little stressful, but it's so cool. Wow. Um. Well, let's try to explore. Oh, another. 
guys, guys, this is another city, another town. I mean, look at this. I mean, I didn't explore this this morning because I was focusing just in the mini game. But wow, this is a new town here. It's basically, oh well, it's it's looking a little like the arena, but I'm pretty sure that this is a different town. So they are also working on different towns as well. Or maybe it's another arena. I mean, there is nothing inside and it's pretty similar to the arena, but I don't know. Wow, guys, can you imagine? They are working on more towns and cities. Obviously, this won't be available soon. <laughs> Obviously. But guys, that's so cool. This... Oh, what is this? Poison cloud, poison fog. Let me... Can I... Okay, no. Wow, this effect is so nice. I mean, they are playing with so many different things, styles and and visual effects and so on. It's so cool. Let's see what this soldier has to say. Talk. Guard. There is a strange toxic mist walking down this path. We have strict orders to keeping everyone from out or off from here. Go away. Yes, sir, sir. Yes. I don't remember if this was before, but you can see there are some little bees, bees or I don't know, or flies or I don't know what. I, I prefer to think that they are fees. Hey, bees. <laughs> fees, no, <laughs> please <laughs> avoid the fees. But yeah, they are bees. And you can see it's so, so nice to see there's some flowers there, the bees around, flying around, so cool. I mean, I, I love these little details. Um, I always check in this kind of stuff. And it's still very, very interesting. And also you can play now with chickens and, and play races. That's so cool. This is the swamp. You can see the water, well, the, the, the swamp there. How it's shining, the effect of the... I don't know how to say in English this. It's not water, but I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, you can listen to the frogs. Oh, some... No, not butterflies with um, dragonflies could be. Oh, you can. Oh, so so misty. Oh, this some green shining mushrooms or I don't know. Yeah, mushrooms. Oh, guys, these mushrooms are pretty similar to the ones that we are collecting in the chicken riders. That's cool. I mean, I love when. Uh, developers and, and creators they connect everything inside the game so the mushrooms that we are collecting they are similar to the ones that we can see here in the map nice okay so we cannot pass through this way we can see some fog there cool more different visual effects we can go this way more mushrooms here I have to, the ambience, it's so, so wonderful. I just love it. Oh, so interesting. We can po pass through a, a tree here that it, it should be blocking the division, but we are still able, being able to, to see through the, through, through, through the tree. That's so cool. You can see that there is something there blocking your vision, but I mean, there's like a something there, okay? But you can still see your vision, that's cool. I never checked this before. I mean, probably they was implemented a long time ago, but I never checked this. So. Or I did it. Oh! This is like a desert, or... Oh, this effect about... You can see, like, the... The dust is flying around. The wind is so, so strong here. Let's try to... Find the, the witch. Oh, this is new, this is new, guys. These runes here, magic runes or a stone with runes, this is something that we didn't see yet. Oh, it's there. You can see there the NPC that I was talking about. It's there. And by the way, maybe if you watched my previous, uh, well, my first stream of Midgar Online, I was talking about some different flags around the town. And there was one because I just remember this one, this flag was in the town uh, in one of the houses. 
in front of the house, okay? And it's the same one, so probably this NPC has a house there, maybe it's part of the family, of the clan, or whatever, the guild. So let's talk with this NPC. Let's talk. Ada, Sorceress. Hey, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to tap on the thumbs up button, subscribe to my channel, and turn on the bell to stay tuned for more videos. See you next time!